Yes guys, what is going on? It is Stampy here, back again with episode 2 of my FIFA 19 Pro Clubs Best Build Series. So as you can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, we are going to be doing the cam build. Before I continue guys, I just want to give all of you a quick shout out. The support on the last episode was absolutely amazing. You guys seem to love that build, so I'm going to keep bringing you these builds as often as I can and I'm going to make sure I supply you some bonus episodes at the end. And it's also come to my attention that there is going to be a new patch coming to the game very, very soon. So just just to give you guys a quick note whether you're watching this before or after the patch i'm pretty sure that this build is going to be absolutely fine so without further ado let's get into it so coming into the menus here on this position tab you're obviously going to choose a midfielder and your role is going to be a central attacking midfielder scroll over one more and you'll find yourself here on the physical tab you want to put your height to 5 foot 11 with a weight of 149 pounds now as you see here if i go any further the stats do start to change but i would say the best starting position is 149 these two stats here in particular at the bottom your body type and your preferred foot is obviously down to personal preference so that's all you really need to know for this tab it isn't anything too complicated let's move on so before i go ahead and apply all my skill points to show you guys where i put them just have a look at my statistics there on the left 23 games played 27 goals 40 assists now i don't have any idea how i don't have a man of the match as of yet after 23 games played and 27 goals but whatever it is what it is Let's move on to the player growth. Now, after you proceed through the menus, you'll find yourself here on the player traits tab. And you'll see in the top right hand corner, I have 31 skill points to spend. Now, the reason why I'm doing this right now is just to show you guys where I start or where I apply my first 15 skill points that you get for free. So coming over to the shooting tab, as you can see here, I've added on my weak foot. So I have a free star weak foot and I've also upped the shot in power by two levels as well as the finishing. Now, the reason for this is because as a cam, you're gonna be picking up the scraps that come on to the edge of the box and you want your shooting to be decent obviously i can't go too far into detail because i've only spent 15 skill points so far but this is a very very good base to start off with onto the pace tab you can see here i haven't maxed out everything unfortunately because towards the latter stages they do get a bit expensive but this is where you should start this is your base use these skill points you'll see there my acceleration and sprint speed are both at 83 which i see which i think in my personal opinion is decent especially if you're just starting off as a cam you don't need to be the fastest all you really need to be able to do is just shoot and just pass the ball you will see in the clips as well throughout this video that i did actually get quite a few assists and i did find that obviously the, the way the game is made right now shooting outside the box isn't really the easiest thing in the world and a lot of the mechanics are wrong so i find myself getting more assists than goals but we'll talk about that in a second so now that you guys have seen where to start off when you've originally make your cam build it is now time to show you guys what your stats will look like after you've played a few games now you can see here i spent the remainder of those skill points i think i had 31 in the top right and as you can see here my stats have improved massively i've now got 88 dribbling with four star skills 85 5 ball control, 81 attacking position and 86 agility. So pretty much all of the stats apart from balance are over 80. Moving on to the passing tab, I really didn't touch anything there purely because if I was on the wing, I'd focus a little bit more on my passing purely to get the ball into the box and also through on goal around defenders. But because I'm playing in the middle of the park, I didn't really find that a necessity to work on. So I kind of just left that for now. Onto the shooting tab and this is where things get a little bit more important. I am currently working towards getting a better weak foot, but as I've told you guys, the more you play, the more skill points you'll earn so eventually that weak foot will come at the moment i've just focused on finishing shot power and long shots now i haven't focused on long shots too much because again the way the game is right now pre-patch shooting outside the box it doesn't go in a lot of the time and if it is going to go in you don't need ridiculously high stats in order to pull one off so i haven't really focused too much i kind of saved myself a few skill points there just to literally spend in other areas and last but not least onto the pace tab you can see how i've maxed out everything your stats will increase obviously as you play the game as well but for now i'm sitting on 86 acceleration and 85 sprint speed for a cam that is double decent so now it's time to talk to you guys a little bit about the build and how to use it so the first thing that i noticed is playing as a cam it is not like last year where you can literally run ragged you have to kind of be very patient with your play and you need to spray the ball left right center you need to have a variety of different moves 
if you do the same thing consistently throughout the whole game, a lot of uh, your opponents will counter that and they'll literally shut you out the game to the point where when you get the ball, they'll take you down. You have to be very patient in this game. It can be annoying, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see the differences. You'll start to create so many more plays, you'll score so many more goals and you'll get so many more assists. And that leads me on to the fact of what I said before is that I found myself getting more assists than goals. Now, I think the reason for that is because this game favours more passing and actual football. It's a bit hectic. You don't have a lot of free time on the ball. And if you do have a lot of free time, it's very hard to take that precise shot that always used to fly in last year so again this time you kind of have to switch up the way that you play use your teammates a little bit more and create more goals one thing i actually didn't have during the majority of these clips was the four star skill so i did find it a little bit hard to evade my defenders and i think Prioritizing the, the four star skill moves allows you to use simple moves like the McGeady spin and the Ronaldo chop and things like that that can easily change direction so you can confuse your opponent and make a little bit more space. And I believe if you do use those techniques, you will create a lot more chances for yourself. I'm looking forward to using them more. I might even upgrade to five star skills like as soon as I get the right amount of skill points. I think I only need to earn another four. But other than that, guys, that is really the build. Like it's pretty simple to use. Again, you have to change the way you play this year. There are a lot of different aspects that change like what happens on the pitch but again you guys will get used to it the more that you practice with this build and literally the more you play the more you will improve and literally you'll just enjoy your experience from there on after one thing i will mention as well before i end this video is you'll see maybe one or two free kick attempts the free kicks with this build are a lot more consistent i found with, than with the striker build now if you are a cam i'd suggest in a team if you want to score those goals and you are playing for a win have a cam designated as a free kick taker. Don't just take the free kick just because you won it and you play, I don't know, CDM or striker. Let the cam take it. I do have a weird run up, I know. Do not slate me for it, but the attempts on goal were decent. And as soon as I master it, I'll be scoring goal after goal after goal. I'll also have a traits video out very soon as well to show you guys how you can get all of the hidden traits in the game. Uh, my boy Curtis as well. Again, I have to shout him out every single video. He helps me out massively. I've got some really interesting and very helpful pro clubs videos coming out soon. And also a very special one involving a certain team called Hashtag United. Ooh, exciting, exciting stuff. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna be pumping up the videos as much as I can for you guys i hope you guys are enjoying the content if you are smash that like button hit the subscribe button down below also turn on those notifications i've been big stampy and i'll see you in the next video peace